Welcome, welcome to episode 9 of Quarantine Stories powered by hashtag in arm stories. You might be wondering what this hammer is for. I'll reveal that in some time. My name is Inam and this is episode 9 of Quarantine Stories powered by hashtag in arm stories. And I am your storyteller. So how have you been? I've missed you a lot. Hopefully you missed me too. Now let's begin with today's story. What is the story about today? The story is an interesting one. The title of the story is The Anger of Thor. That's why the hammer. And there's a name for this hammer which I'm gonna be revealing it as I'm going through the story. Now, it's not part of the Avengers that I can see uh, this Thor is part of. This Thor is completely independent. This is the pre-Avengers era that the story that I'm going to read out and you will know it. And the story revolves around Loki, Odin, Thor and some musical people. Alright, so let's begin with the story. All right, the anger of Thor. Thor, the son of Odin, was the god of thunder. He was tall and mighty with bright red hair and bristling red beard. He owned a huge hammer called Mjolnir. So Thor, Thor was the son of Odin and Thor is god of thunder and he owns a weapon that is called a Mjolnir and it's in a shape of a hammer which was red hot when Thor knew Thor knew Thor threw when Thor threw Mjolnir, it shattered the air like a thunderbolt. Lightning flashed from the skies and the earth was terrified. Usually Thor was good tempered, but when he fell into a rage, he burned with such heat that the other gods would not allow him to cross the bridge Bifrost into Asgard their city fortress so Thor they say he's a good tempered fellow but when he loses his rage it seems the place that he's from that is Asgard there's a place there's a bridge called Bifrost they would not allow him from the Bifrost is what they have mentioned in this notebook the photos are pretty interesting from this book of Thor and it's not like uh, Chris Hemsworth or uh, is it one of the Hemsworth who played Thor and uh, it's very interesting I'm gonna put it in the thumbnail so please do check out the photos from the story it's a very neatly done one let's get back to the story fearful that the heat of Thor's rage would burn the bridge and damage their homes. The gods made Thor wade through four rivers before entering the city. So the people knew about Thor's rage and the place that he is from that is Asgard. There is a bridge before Asgard that is Bifrost. That is also not allowed because his rage would shatter the bridge and shatter people's house and people shatter people themselves because of his rage which is very bad right uh, so the gods had four rivers before Asgard so that he could cross those four rivers and come in with a calm mind even if he is the most angriest person in the world he by the time he would cross the fourth river he would come to his senses is what I'm thinking is what I'm guessing what do you feel what do you think what do you guess tell me something at least open your damn mouth open your damn palms and start typing or using your phones let me know what you feel one time Thor left his home and walked down through the land of men 
as night fell. He asked for shelter at the home of an old man and his granddaughter. He was invited in, but the home was poor. Only a few oat cakes were ready for supper. So one time, Thor left Asgard and walking along the city of men. Now, city of men here refers to our mama planet Earth Gaia. So Thor has entered Earth and he's just walking. And uh, as uh, he was walking alone and night fell, he wanted to take shelter. So he took shelter at an old poor man's house where there was nothing much to eat apart from some oat cakes. Now oat cakes is basically very little not filling for a god like you. No, like you. No, like you. <laughs> Have you no cattle to roast? To make a decent meal, asked Thor. Thor was direct, he said, don't you have any meat? Who do you think you're serving, is what his intent was. Indeed, stranger, replied the old man, who did not recognize the god Thor. But we do not bother to cook meat when my son is away. We make do with poorer fare. So when Thor asked the old man, Don't you have any cattle or roast beef for me? The old man replied that they do eat meat, but the sun is away. So when the sun is away, they do with the oat cakes and they're fine with it. And meat is a speciality. It's only when their son arrives at their house. It's that special. Thor grind, grinding his teeth with mounting anger. So Thor is just angry and is just grinding his teeth like I'm grinding right now. And he's just like, Ugh! that's how he is. I'm not used to making do with poor fare, he said. Thor, a god. He's not used to these things. So he's expressing himself. Let's see what happens. If you come as a beggar to my door, you must make do with what you are given. If you must come as a beggar to my door, you must do with what is given, said the old man. Oh my God, he has told Thor, the God of Thunder, as a beggar. <laughs> Let's see what. Thor is going to reply. What sort of hospitality is this? Roared Thor. The gods did not put men on earth in order to be offered oat cakes. I am Thor, the son of Odin, the god of Thunder. 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 The, the thunder. The lightning. And the thunder. Thunder. Bam, bam. Let's continue. I am Thor, the son of Odin, the god of thunder. I should be welcomed with the roaring fire and plenty of roast meat. So obviously when the old man referred to him as a beggar, he put the old man directly and he said, I am a god and I require a certain feast whenever I come and meet the mere mortals. He snatched up his hammer, brought it back down on the floor and with a mighty thwack as far as away as Asgard, the gods heard the sound and looked at each other. So what did Thor do? Thor basically just took the hammer and not that lightly, he hit it so hard that the sound traveled, the impact of that hit went back to Asgard and all the gods were aware and they were looking around each other, at each other. They were like, oh, it's like, it's like in a group, if somebody silently farts, they're like, isn't it you? Isn't it Thor? I think it, this must be Thor. Something like that. <laughs> 
Thor is in a rage about something, they said. However, down on earth, the old peasant was not to be frightened. So the old man was not frightened at all. This is my home. This is my home, he said defiantly. If you do not like it, you can go elsewhere. How was I supposed to know that a god was coming? That a god was calling? The fact that the peasant was in the right did not lessen Thor's anger. Did not lessen Thor's fury. So, it was very... Uh, the old man was walking on thin ice. He expressed the truth that, you know, he did not expect a god at his house. And it is his house, his rules. That's what he's saying. Thor, knowing the truth, his anger did not subside and he was just getting furious. And you know, if you get hangry, that is hunger and you're angry, you're just hangry. And if you are Thor and if you are hangry, you know what you're gonna do? You're gonna do something with your hammer. Okay, let's go with the... Uh, okay, back in Asgard, the other gods listened to the thunder until their heads ached. So, when Thor gets angry, he just keeps on whacking, whacking and whacking and whacking. And the impact was being felt at Asgard. And that's when Loki, not Tom Middleston, Loki. Loki spoke to Bragi, the god of poetry and tin 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 music so bragi was the god of poetry and music and loki who is thor's brother spoke to the god please for all our sakes he said go down to earth and play a sweet music to thor and charm his anger away so Loki was speaking to Bragi and asking Bragi to go down to earth and play some music to charm Thor's ears so that his anger can calm down. Bragi smiled and picked up his heart and hurried down to the land of men. Standing outside the home of the peasant, Bragi played the sweetest music ever heard crept amongst the trees and swirled with the mist over the meadows. So Bragi came down to earth and he started playing with his instrument and it was the sweetest music that anyone had heard. It crept through the space that he was belonging that is right next to the house that Thor was in and Thor could hear all of this. Let's see what happens. Thor paused in the heat of his rage as the soft notes cooled his flushed cheeks. He lowered his hammer. So he is. That sounds good. That's what he felt. He lowered his hammer. The peasant opened the door and Bragi. The beautiful golden haired god smiled across the threshold with the instrument. Come home, come home, come home, Thor, come home, he said. We have had enough noise and lightning for today. Thor rubbed his aching head, and the music had weighed his eyes with sleep. He could not remember what he was angry about. So when a god gets angry, he does not remember. But Bragi hypnotizes him with the sweetest sound ever and gets him back. Yes, it's time to go home, he agreed. And the entire world of planet Earth sighed with relief along with Asgard. That's his home Town. The entire universe was at peace when Thor was at his peace. 
So with this story, the story ends with the anger of Thor being calmed down with Bragi, the help of Loki, the son of Odin, who helped Thor with his anger issues. So being in this environment, being in a lockdown, I hopefully I have seen, I have heard people getting angry, even me. So let's hear some sweet music, sweet, sweet music and get into the groove. Be the best version of you. Listen to the best music that you can, your personal music and smile because it doesn't cost you. That was the status when I was working in IBM. And with that, my name is Anam. This has been episode nine. The title has been The Anger of Thor. As I search for the storyteller's torch, I bid you farewell. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, I will see you tomorrow. This has been The Anger of Thor.